think any car company out there has a brand more kind of at odds with electric cars than BMW. I mean, they're so strongly known for something else, for the gas engine world, the turbocharged world, the track engineered vehicles, the ultimate driving machine. Those are the attributes we don't associate with electric cars. We think of them as green and wimpy and kind of super digital high tech. So for this company to make a shift to the i-series is going to be a big one coming in late 2013, early 2014. But this is probably not the one you're going to buy when they hit the market. More than likely, the i3 would be the electric BMW that's going to fit your budget. Here it is in a concept coupe version. We've seen a four-door before, and that, by the way, is what will be coming out first in late 2013, not too far away. But this coupe's taking us into a little sexier direction of what is clearly a city car, all electric. Now, it's a BMW, so it's rear-wheel drive. That's just part of their DNA. 170 horse, 184 foot-pounds of torque. The other thing you'll notice about this car, you can't see, it's the aluminum underpinnings of the, the chassis, but underneath here, and you can see in the door jams and such, a lot of carbon fiber infused in these plastic panels. So this is a car that is very light and very rigid throughout. One of the benefits is one that is very near and dear to my heart, thin pillars. You know how pillars have been getting like this big lately because of crash rollover standards? This lightweight, very strong material means you can finally thin these out and get a nice greenhouse again. Let's take a look inside. Now look at this cabin, very spacious flat floor between those two front seats because the entire lithium ion battery pack lives in the belly of the vehicle. BMW says that's a unique benefit they've got because these i vehicles were designed from the ground up to be either electric or hybrid electric. They didn't have to shoehorn all that apparatus into an existing platform. Also notice two generous screens, a 6.5 in front of the driver and an 8.8, .8, big widescreen over there which BMW is known for, in the middle. Everything here basically is handled via LCD screen. You got a few controllers and, of course, the latest sort of envisioning of their iDrive controller there in the middle. Range on this car is being guesstimated around 100 miles. That's like every other compact electric car coming out right now, so that's pretty straightforward. Interesting wild card could be charging time. We don't know yet what that will be and what BMW might have up their sleeve for a fast charge strategy. There's only so much you can do within the laws of physics, but car makers are beginning to get a little better at bending them, at least. These i-series cars are more than just a technological shift for BMW. For this company known so much for traditional engineering, the ultimate driving machine, gas engine cars, this is a big philosophical shift as well.